everyone, I'm Whitney and I post a new tutorial every single Wednesday to help sewers of all skill levels learn new projects and techniques. This week I'm actually showing how to install child safe eyes and noses in your stuffed animal sewing projects. This is part of a series that I'm doing here on my channel all about sewing uh, memory bears. So if you are watching this video right after it is uploaded, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the rest of the series. Or if you're coming across this video later, then you can check out the entire series linked below in a playlist in the description box. So when you buy child safe eyes and noses for your project, they will come with the eyes or noses and then the same number of backing pieces. The posts on the back will have grooves that the backing piece snaps into and that is what locks it in place to actually be child safe. And I get mine at Hobby Lobby, but I will have some linked below that are available on Amazon in case you don't have a Hobby Lobby near you. So this is a bear that I'm working on. I have the three face pieces sewn together, the face center and then the two sides. So I'm ready to install the eyes and nose because it is actually the easiest to do it this way before the entire rest of the head or the entire stuffed animal is sewn together. The pattern had marks where the eyes and nose needed to be and I transferred those to the fabric before cutting the pieces out. I like to start with an awl to make a small hole right where the mark is. As you can see, my awl is much skinnier than the post on the eyes, so I then use a small pair of scissors to carefully enlarge the hole. Be careful doing this because you don't want the hole to end up too big, and that's one reason why I don't actually snip a hole with the scissors. I just slowly poke the blade of the scissor further into the fabric and make the hole larger that way. When the hole is just large enough, push the post of the eye into it as far as it will go. Get one of your backing pieces and place it on the post so the flat side of the back will be against the flat side of the eye when it is all the way on. Press the backing onto the post as firmly and tightly as it will go. Once the backing is on, it is on to stay. Then move on to the nose. Some people like to put the nose right in the center seam, but I don't because these posts are so large that I would have to snip a stitch or two to get it in, and I feel like that will weaken the center seam. So I try to position it just off the seam, but do whatever you feel is best. Make the hole the same way as before, insert the nose, and add the backing. I like to turn it back to the front and make sure the nose is on straight before pressing the backing on past the final groove. So as I mentioned earlier, this is the first video in a series about sewing stuffed animals and memory bears, so there will be a playlist that is linked right over here to the side for the rest of the videos once they have been loaded onto YouTube. If you have any techniques or things you want me to cover in this series, make sure to leave it in a comment down below. And until next time, happy sewing!